Geo Marakwet Senator and also Honorable Peter Maduki who is the Acting Secretary General Wiper. Thanks for making time for us. Kipchumba, I'll start with you. Is this the solution that Kenya was looking for? Uh, <clears throat> it is not uh, the panacea for all the problems and it's not the end by itself. It's a means to an end. Um, it's part of the process. You know, Kenya as a country, we have come from a long way from 1963. But um, from 2007, 2008 violence, there needed to be a new uh, way of doing things. There needed to be bold leaders who, even those who never used to work together in the past, have the courage to work together as a team. And I think uh, this project um, probably, I can say, started so when Raila shook hands with uh, President Mwai Kibaki. But there was still need that even further, the problems we were facing in areas like Nakuru, Eldred, and across part of the country needed bold leadership. Yeah. And in 2013, I think President Uru Kenyatta and uh, William Ruto made a very, very bold decision that actually the same confusion you can see now here, the same discussion about, you know, it, was it possible for Ayla to meet uh, Uhuru Kenyatta was the same discussion we had in 2012 when Uhuru, uh, William Ruto met with uh, uh, Uhuru Kenyatta because people felt like, you know, people from this community or this region are not going to meet with these people from this other region. And that journey, when Jubilee Coalition uh, was formed, there was a commitment, and I'm saying this from a point of information because yeah. I was the, uh, part of the legal team that worked on the yeah. agreement, there was a clear commitment from the president and his deputy at that time that yeah. they wanted a united Kenya, whether okay. they win the president or not. Now, you remember in Kasarani, the yeah. president also emphasized that going forward, he will engage in a dialogue to yeah. bring Kenyans together. Okay, and before even, before, before even we get into time, that dialogue, yeah. just give me one second here. Let me just get... Uh, just Peter. No, no, no I'm, I'm coming to you. Just one second. Just one second. Yes. Honorable Maduki, what do you make of this handshake, the now famous handshake? Is this the solution that we were looking for? Um, thank you very much for hosting us this evening. Yeah. I would I'll start by saying the shaking of hands between the two, obviously, is not uh, necessarily yeah. the key thing. But what is most important thing is a dialogue. No one not saying dialogue is bad. Dialogue is right. But we are looking for a national dialogue, a national dialogue that is inclusive. Yeah. Inclusive means bringing everyone on board. But that focuses on national and public interest, because that is very important. Yeah. Remember, uh, uh, of course, uh, President Uhuru being the head or leader of Jubilee, and of course, Raila Molodinga being the head of NASA, was accepted, of course, each of their, each had their own agenda, yeah. each had their issues. And therefore, it's important, when we are talking of dialogue and talking, it must be national in nature, yeah. must make sure it takes care of the public good, the common good of everyone. Do you reckon Remember, this covers the common good of everyone? No, no, I'm because saying, no, no, not necessarily, because yeah. again, when you look at the document that was signed, yeah. first and foremost, there was nowhere that was written NASA. NASA, they had their own agenda, where they were talking of electoral reforms, they were talking of strengthening police uh, police reforms in yeah. this, we are talking of judiciary, we are talking of devolution and even the executive. And we are saying it's important, all those items or those issues in agenda are part of this dialogue. And that's why we're saying it must be national nature. Remember, when we've been in the stronger process as NASA, which has been led by Raila Odinga, a number of people lost their lives. People died yeah. out of this trouble, including the people who actually went even to the airport to pick it from the airport. And therefore, it's important to look and say, hey, what, what is it that people wanted in all this? And to make sure that they carry on board all these issues. And therefore, what we are saying is not about the two, but it's about the Kenyans, it's about the national dialogue, which is very important. Okay. And it must take into consideration the national and public interest. Interesting. And that All is right. very important. Senator, before you, you're be finishing your point on the subject that you brought up, but also this <coughs> fundamental difference in principles of governance before between NASA and Jubilee. It is time to dialogue with everybody about development of Kenya. If you saw the document that was signed between the President and uh, Honorable Raila Odinga, you realize that that document 
captures the issues the president had been announcing, that elections is over. We are no longer debating about was uh, elections done or not, is the president legitimate or not. Um, we, were, we are saying that we no longer discuss matters about resisting, uh, you know, uh, public goods and, you know, these things about... But what about those who were genuinely so aggrieved forth. during the election? No, you see, they must understand that yes. uh, <clears throat> people must accept that they did not by themselves decide the things they were doing. I mean, the, 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 the decision to resist certain companies yeah. was not a decision of voters. It was dictated by their leaders. The announcement that this government is not legitimate was not for voters, it was for leaders. The announcement that they should, there will be no elections yeah or that uh, we are not going to participate in repeat elections was not of voters, it was for, for leaders. So it takes the same leaders to undo that which they did. Okay. And I can say, let me say this, that um, I agree with what Mwishimi was saying in terms of conversation uh, about development of this country must be inclusive by everybody, but it must start somewhere. We must recognize all of us that the presidential candidate we had in August was Raila Odinga. We must also recognize that the area and the region that bore the highest brunt of uh, the challenges that uh, came with uh, his announcement that we boycott elections and so forth was largely the areas that ODM controlled. Yeah. So there was need for the ODM leader and the presidential candidate then to take a particular step and I am glad that he, he took that step as an individual to start with. But as I said when I opening this discussion, it's not an end by itself, it's the beginning what that handshake did was automatically ended certain discussions that we used to have that, oh, you know, there was no legitimate elections, there's no legitimate president, and all those kind of things. Yeah. Now, we open door for legitimate discussion about how can we uh, uh, ensure that the unemployment is dealt with in this country? Okay. How can we deal with matters of poverty? How can we develop Kenya so that the equality, okay. the, the equality that comes with development of Kenya will sort out these problems of people saying we are marginalized? Okay. And going forward, we must continue also conversing and asking ourselves, yeah. how can we end this mentality that people must die for a leader to become in, in office. That right. really... Well, Honorable Maduki, th this is it's it's raising a fair point that mm. it's time people start talking mm. about other issues that are facing the youth. Mm. But are you getting the same feeling from the people on the ground that they feel represented by now the famous handshake? Mm. Because many people are saying these are for selfish gains. Let me be honest with you. You know there are yeah. things that you can't undo, yeah. like the lives that were lost exactly. in this process. And therefore it's good for whatever the two leaders are doing they must be people driven, people centered. Do you reckon must, this is people They driven? must make sure that they are driven by the interests of the people. So maybe possibly what you would have done, and I agree with possibly the machine on this point, that sometimes leaders may carry aspirations most of the people. But again, on this particular one, I thought the best thing would have been prepare people, tell them, now I think we are going through this direction. And uh, that is, a, is in the best interest of this country, the best interest. Remember the issue of dialogue. In fact, it was started by, by, by our party leader, Kalonzo Musioka, when he came from Germany and said that it would be in the best interest of this country if Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga would talk. But this talking... But now then, he says he was left out of no, this. No, no, no. But then talking, yeah. talking then must be inclusive and must make sure that it's structured. Structured in the sense that it is carrying some of the key issues. What is it that NASA has been fighting for? Mushimu has really articulated the issues that Jubilee has been carrying along. Yeah. But then what about the issues that NASA has been carrying along? Electoral injustices going forward. Because again it will come 2022, 2027. If the issues of electoral injustices are not properly addressed, then we'll be getting to the same issues. So I think the best way forward is to make sure that whatever dialogue is happening, it must be national, it must be inclusive, it must carry the national and public interest. And that is very important. And, may, and therefore at some point, even look through, how do you even compensate people who lost their lives? How do you compensate somebody purely died six months old, seven, ten years old? Honestly, what did they deserve to die? And if at all we are coming together to dialogue as leaders, then we must make sure that we take care 
of those interests? Yeah. How do you even compensate those people? Well, that's, that's, a, that's a fair question because how do you bridge the gap for this? The same question I'd asked you earlier, those who are genuinely aggrieved and yeah. you saw it during the political divide. But before that, Jackson, you can bring up my screen here. Just as O'Toole says, Kenya is bigger than individual. We want Kenya economy to grow. And then we also have a law, Stephen, who says the truth is good. However, it's kind of a monarchy. Therefore, I feel like it's unfair to be a hypocrite. And Lennox Kimutai says the truth between President Uru Kenyatta and Ryan Lodinga shows that politicians only care about their own interests. The common monarchy continues to suffer. Um, first of all, I, I think I agree with uh, the uh, sentiments there that they must be, like Moshima said, it must be centered on the people. And that's why the issues that we have been um, focusing on is how do you deal with the big four issues, unemployment in this country, healthy issues. All those issues are well captured in our manifesto. And you remember... But before you deal with that, Senator, no, I ask you about the that. people who are genuinely I, I'm just coming how to that. How do you reach out to that. them? You see, yeah. there is a point that Mwishimiwa is making here. Yes. Uh, um, and his point is that it must be inclusive. But there is also a feeling that Honorable Borail Odinga was the presidential candidate and that it is his, his position is representative of all the places that NASA got votes. Number two argument would be that he should have shared with his colleagues that this is the direction we are going to, to take. But sometimes the, there are some people who are hardliners who can hold you back. And it takes sometimes certain bold step to say, let me make this an whatever unpopular move it is, then let's deal with the consequences because the sign for solving the problems will have uh, started. Yeah. The question of uh, uh, citizen rights, it would be unfair to say that uh, those people are not only going to be compensated or to be uh, uh, given ju justice only because of this handshake. Yeah. I think it will be unfair because whether or not Raila Odinga and Uru Kenyatta met, President Uru Kenyatta met, it was still incumbent upon this government as a constitutional responsibility to ensure that justice is served on every Kenyan who felt aggrieved uh, during the elections period yeah. and that the, the law should, uh, should be obeyed, obeyed. What's going to happen in this situation though is that when the perception, po political perceptions uh, show publicly that there's a direction we are getting to, um, even citizens at the lower level begin to have certain conversations. Yeah. I was playing a football match uh, today and, uh, you know, people jokingly, uh, I'm a member of uh, uh, some old people clubs for football and we are supposed to go and play somewhere in Kisumu. And uh, jokingly, uh, because our colleagues who came from Kisumu were saying, now, uh, you're welcome to Kisumu. Um, there is only one government, <laughs> you know. That perception, even to voters at the lower level, uh, the conversation, even in marketplace, yeah. even if you go to centers now, if you go, people feel like there is a sense of uh, uh, that fight was unnecessary. Okay. But there is a message yeah. I want to emphasize. It is a pity to continue building a nation that will be dependent on shaking hands for people to live in peace and for people to pursue justice and for people to obey the constitution. Mm -hmm. This uh, very important moment, yeah. however much all of us are welcoming it, it must serve to all Kenyans that the citizens must lead in pursuing peace yeah. and citizens must not subject their personal lives and their well-being to only a few leaders. A few individuals, in fact, right. they should be dictating to us yeah. how we should behave <laughs> rather than us as leaders dictating, dictating to citizens yeah. to engage in acts of violence. You make a point there. But yeah. Honorable Maduki, as we, yes. as we wind up, yes. who decides the boundaries of the dialogue you're talking about? Because Waipa leader said he's the one who started it, but now he's saying he's been left out of it. In, so uh, who, in, in your own opinion, what would be the best scenario? You know, remember, yeah. he has not said that dialogue is bad. Mm -hmm. He said dialogue, he's like, he kept on saying dialogue is the way to go for this country. Yeah. But then it must be structured. It must be anchored on national and public interest. Okay. So that in case, suppose now tomorrow, for whatever reasons, one Uhuru Kenyatta and one Raila Odinga, they don't agree. Then where, what would be the fate of this dialogue? So it must be structured in such a way it's anchored on very strong principles. So that going forward, it serves the bigger interest of this country. Okay. And that's what we're saying. 
let it be inclusive. Let everyone feel that they are part of this dialogue, and that's the way to go. Will WIPA be part of the meeting tomorrow? And to is this what you're going to discuss? Tomorrow, yeah. the four principals of NASA are supposed to meet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and of course, then they'll be able to assess these new political developments. So therefore, of course, and that meeting, again, was arranged way before even they, they, they met. And therefore, I don't see reasons why actually they shouldn't meet. If again, it is something that is fair, that was done by the two, there's nothing wrong with Raila coming to come and explain to his colleagues, basically, this is what we are doing and this right. is the way to go. Okay. So basically, I don't see why uh, partners of NASA, and remember, yeah. in fact, Raila, in case of, in case of Jubilee, the party leader of Jubilee is one Uhuru Kenyatta. Yeah. And they have one party called Jubilee. And therefore, when he stands there, he's, he, he represents his deputy, even in the political structures. Okay. But in the case of NASA, there are coalitions of different political parties. Imagine a situation mm -hmm. where if Raila was there with Kalonzo, with Mudavadi, and Watangula, all standing together, shaking hands with, the, with, with, with the Uhuru Kenyatta and saying, even Ruto, yeah. and saying, this is the direction. I'm telling you, you would have seen reaction of people in Kisumu in every part of this country, okay. including Nairobi. People liking it. But you know, people have gone quiet, and much of what is happening is like, we don't know what next. Okay. And that is why we are saying it, may, it, it should have been done possibly in a better way yeah. if now it was all inclusive, including all right. even the others, so that we make it a national dialogue. All right. Yeah. Closing remarks. Um, well, I, I just want to say that uh, people must not confuse the possibility of leaders to sit together and the desire to continue having a more democratic uh, uh, Kenya. Um, nobody is going to muscle people from having different views on issues that are of national importance. But my advice would be that let all our discussions be geared towards solution of okay. the problem. Let's end this politics of violence, politics of hatred, okay. politics of deception, you know, where people are just making uh, certain utterances about their competitors, even when they know it's not true. And then, you know, when situations like this occur, we are left with the egg on the face yeah. because in the past we've said things that we know should not have been said. Okay. And I think if we bring good manners to our politics, <coughs> um, uh, we can then, everybody can then pursue their political interest. Um, in whatever direction they want to go in whichever political party without having to worry that if I do so, uh, such and such a community will not do business in such okay. a place, uh, people will die and there will be violence. All right. Yeah. Closing remarks, five now, seconds. I, I would say let this be a national dialogue. Okay. All inclusive, anchored on national and public interest. All right. And that should be, that should, that's very important. But let us, it's good. Country, the country is bigger than any one of us. And that is for sure. And I can tell you, Kenya, yeah. even in the region of East Africa, everyone looks at Kenya and says, how is Kenya? Yeah. And once Kenya is affected by a pol an issue, political, economic, it affects the region okay. and even the continent. Right. So it's good for Kenya now to stand up and sort of these issues. All but right. it would be good if it is now all inclusive. All right. Well, yeah. Thank you all for coming in. Senator Kipchumabu Kumen, El Geo Marakut Senator, and Honorable Peter Maduki, who's the Acting Secretary General Wiper. Thanks for making time for us this evening. We're taking a short break in interview. In addition, we'll be back with a lot more in just a bit. Don't go too far.